How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Now we just got back from the cemetery, which was interesting to say the least. Now we're about to head to bed, which I assume will bring us another nightmare. So let's head to bed, shall we? Because these episodes always seem to start off going to bed and having a nightmare. In which I sort of run around frantically not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. That's the huge. Okay, this is different. Oh. Jesus. Why the big change all of a sudden? You're up or keep going? Keep going. It's so empty now. Is the ghost gonna come get us? I don't want the ghost to come get us. Oh, spooky. Moon, why you be so weird like that? Oh, fuck off. I'm going up to you. Can I go up? No, okay. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this god is nowhere. Uh... Well, you can't see god. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like... Bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places, and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now, Oh, Jesus. You sure you're not God? Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air. And closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now, there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? My home and my friends. Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. 
Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Well, that was fucking spooky. Jesus. We've had some fucked up dreams, but that was the scariest, spookiest one. <laughs> what in all balls was going on there? What a depressing dream. Make you not even want to do anything the next day. But, you know, we got shit to do, so... Let's do the shit that we do. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town centre today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town centre every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey dude! At the old Snelkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. Hi. Thanks, Sharky. You always make me feel better about my shitty fucking sleep and dreams. You're the greatest, Sharky. You make life worth living. Now. We're gonna see Mum and then we'll go see Greg, I guess. Hello? Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me I've been there. <laughs> and despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. Uh, you know, if you did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> she couldn't drop it. Jesus. Scary giant cat that thinks that it's not God, but sort of acts like a God. I don't know. Spooky motherfucker. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Go on then. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. <laughs> Thank you, Selmas. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Oh, I like Selmas. Good old Selmas. Come on, May. Up the hill faster. I guess we should see B on the way as well. You know, since me and B are like besties. Best friends forever. Out of my way, raccoon. Yo, pickaxe. Hey, B. <laughs> hey! You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Ugh, what are you up to today? Wandering around town? Whatever you wanna do. Wandering around town? Have fun! I'd love to do something with you, but we need to do the next thing. Which means I have to grab Gregory. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. 
We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. You're going to avoid war by doing war stuff. By blowing up war stuff. Which is kind of war stuff in itself, isn't it? I think you haven't thought that through very well. Not today, Angus. Gotta go see Greg. The Snalkin. We're at the Snalkin! Sup, Duder? Hey! Hey, you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. I saw some space bugs. <laughs> no, not space bugs. Like, not bugs. And not in space. Like things beyond bugs. In some places beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. Oh, awesome. She's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? Are we just hanging out today? Just checking in. You've checked in officially. I check thee. Ah, I thought we were doing the next... The next, uh, ghost hunt daily. And we're not doing that today. Well, if, the, if we're just hanging out, I guess I'll go hang out with B. Let's go hang out with B. Anyone else find it kind of weird that there's normal cats? That are just like, cats? Animals? Not sentient? And then there's sentient cats as well? that keep the normal cats for pets, even though they're probably very, very closely related, genetically. Eh, seems a little odd. It's like the whole Pluto thing with uh, Mickey Mouse. Pluto and Goofy, they're both dogs, but one of them sentient and the other one's a pet. What are you up to today? Whatever you want to do. Proximity! Okay. Yeah, at least if we hang out with B, we get to go in the car. So, what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. Yeah, she hates me. Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Anyway, this is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you. All going to secret parties and shit. Not secret, mate. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. Fucking better be. Got all dressed up in our normal clothes. I think I want... I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You're smart and fun. What am I now? You know, fun. <laughs> it's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly? You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. You're a goat. Hey, B! Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, mate. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Haha, <laughs> right? You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. 
We can't have no sense of humour about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Ha <laughs> ha Hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbour. Couple of born and bred harbour rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah! Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? <laughs> I'm assuming not. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I like this mouse's dance here. He's just like waving back and forth. I think he's drunk. That's how I dance when I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, look, I can control it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, how long do we have to do this for? We're just copying B's dance now. Look, B. Look at my ass. <laughs> hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah? Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm going to keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. With an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously. If any B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay. Look at my ass. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. Be in awe of my ass, my cat ass. Where's my tail? Now that I think about it. Where's our tail? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is great. I'm having a great time. I don't know what fun a party is without alcohol. Dancing's easy. What's the big fuss? Hi. Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Samantha Stevenson. May Borowski. Borowski. Nice. Sounds so tough. It's a. am extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, May Borowski? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires and I play bass. I'm a college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. <laughs> I've had these dreams, but I'm not sure were dreams. You know, I was running around jumble bits of like history or something? Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain? Then yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it like kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it, and I have this thing going on in my head, and I dropped out of college, and I don't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home for things to be normal, and that's not really working out. And I found out tonight that I can dance, and then I saw you. I've never just listened to all of that come out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. Huh, <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, alright. What's happening? Pentagram? Oh wow! Secret handshake. Wow. Haha! <laughs> Whoa! It worked! Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Borowski? Haha! <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mmm, okay. Need to tell friend location. Haha. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. What do we get? Okay. A pentagram. Cool. Where is our friend? Over here. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B's pretty cool. Oh, she's okay. Did she tell you that she we saw a skeleton last night? 
Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, Momento Mori and shit? What's that? Remember you're gonna die. Jeez, does anyone need help with that? <laughs> you're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice? That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. <laughs> well, a book you liked? I like ghost stories. My granddad died. And left me an apple crate full. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. Bee's mum is dead too. <laughs> may, may, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. And my house exploded. Because there was a gas leak. From when my dad hit a line. Trying to dig up the dog we had before that. Because we were going to move. And dad said he had to come with us. That's weird, man. Wow. So, Chris. What are you majoring in? Holy Psy? Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic. To go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college. Just because something's interesting. BB, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? <laughs> nah, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language, get us free slices. But he doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Haha, <laughs> May, no. While rich kid over there is studying politicians or whatever, B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wait, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick. Be here. Drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I, I'm... <laughs> oh, jeez. B, wait. Oh, we fucked up, didn't we? What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Ah. Jeez, now we embarrass B and shit. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I'll personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We'll find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh god, okay. <sighs> back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. Can get to the river quick on the roofs. How do I get to a roof? Hey, move! What? Move it! Goth dorks! No! I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I'll end you right here in this pizza parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm going to run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I'm going to call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. <laughs> and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? 
You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. I hope you break your spine. Dude. We are tough as shit. <laughs> We're scary motherfuckers. Holy. Let's go. We gotta find B. Shit. Shit. Well, that fucked up. I think we're okay though. We're okay. Go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! B, where are you? Up, and down, and over. Come on. This is a long ass way. Shit! And we fell off again. Motherfucker. Up and up and over. Run, May! Run with your little legs! Hey, B! B! There you are! Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town? And you don't even know what- This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these, so I can feel normal, for like two hours a month. You could have been mugged or something. This is normal? You could have been mugged or something. All over some idiot guy? College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You'll never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? Haha, <laughs> this is so friggin' sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already? It's like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mum died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mum literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight, and you can and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work so hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm just doomed you're not the only person stuck here you know you gave up the thing I can't have I kinda hate you I can't not hate you for that a little you don't know why I had to leave oh I'm sure it's a brilliant reason you, you just sit there judging me have you ever even asked why I left yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answers I could give would seem nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All of this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ah. <sighs> Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land. To keep their colours. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So like. Actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like. Stuck together in the same town? Like we're stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like uh. Is this just. What's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something. 
that keeps moving away into the distance, while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement we call life, Beatrice. Thanks, that's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. I'll learn to talk good. <laughs> I will not do that. To whatever guy. You're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good, thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am, like, more embarrassing than you will ever be. You're, like, stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know... What? You know what the f f Lucien fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Centello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. Crap. I didn't get her info. Oh. The super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? <laughs> we did the secret handshake, if you know what I mean. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real, and I think something really bad is going to happen. I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like... Everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had the big fight with mum. Kitten, it's okay. And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay. Why did you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Garbo and Malloy again. Great. Malloy! Garbo! Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be... <laughs> a whopper. I don't get these two. I really don't. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Alright, let's go to bed, shall we? Bedtime? Night. Stairs, please. Thank you. That one, too. Alright, we'll hit the old social media and then it'll be the end of the episode, I guess. As per usual. What do we got? Hey you! Hey me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really takes it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Oh, it was nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. 
You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Hey kid! Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to... We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's another day down. And I guess we're going to have another nightmare when we go to bed. Hopefully we get a chance to talk to God again. Who says they're not God, but whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next episode.